Okay, I'm going to try to make another short video here just on BRL, Braille Reading Literacy. It's a comment, right? And it, so he's pointing out to Matthew 13. All right, let me do this here. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's find out. All right, so there we go. All right, so it, I'm not going to read Matthew 13. But I uh, certainly encourage you to read it. It's uh, very similar to what we're reading in Matthew 24. Okay, I figured that was going to happen. But let's read his comment because he summarizes it very well. All right, check out Matthew 13, 1 through 52. And if, oops, if we go down to uh, 52 um, you know if you get that far you might as well go to 58 all right just read the chapter all right so basically Jesus speaking to the multitudes seeds on different types of ground why parables and answers interpretation of seeds and different types of ground the good seed and tares the mustard seed leavened bread narration good seed and tares interpreted this part is very eye-opening. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do inequity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. And there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth, then shall the righteous sign shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father who has ears to hear let him hear all right so uh, that's um, terrific stuff so you you'll see here uh, let's I'm gonna focus on the word kingdom you're gonna see here uh, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven talking about the saved people, the people that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ is given to us and it's not there for those that are not saved it's not there for them to see but for those of us that are saved we it's there for us to see alright so if we focus on this word kingdom here when any one hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not then comes the wicked one and catches him away and so he's he's laying down parables right there if there's any doubt all right the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed a good seed now i'm not going to go read all these the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed it'll grow and grow and grow the kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven all right and king and then Filled is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom. So I want you to pay attention to this. The children of the king, the filled is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom of God. And that can only mean the kingdom of God is upon us now. This is important if you want to relate this to Revelation 20. Okay, But the tares are the children of the wicked one. And uh, what our friend here is pointing out, they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do inequity. All right, so if we go to Revelation 20, and we see here that the thousand years. Uh, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years and they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years and we read in Matthew 13 that the kingdom of God is now is happening right now and we reign with Christ during this time during this thousand year period and it's this thousand year period is coming to an end and when it comes to an end he shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend. All right, so that's when we're going to be lifted up in the air to be with the Lord Jesus. 
and our enemy is going to be gathered at our feet and fire is going to come down out of heaven and devour them all. All right. Just as it says in Revelation 20, this is supported all throughout the Bible, including Matthew 13. All right. So, who has ears to hear, let him hear. A great comment out of BRL, Braille, Reading, Literacy. I love it. When people get it, it's very simple. It really is. And it's this is a challenge because I'm telling you, over 90%, probably closer to 99%, it might be closer to 100% than 99% of the teachers in the world today are teaching a false idea of the thousand year of Revelation 20. They're teaching a thousand year zombie reign is what they're teaching. The reason it's only a thousand years in Revelation 20 is because it's coming to an end. The reign of Jesus Christ never ends. But this period where we reign with Christ in this flesh began with the resurrection, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and it'll end upon his return. This is a limited period of time. All right, because once he when he comes back in the clouds of heaven, he's going to make all things new. So good job out of you, BRL.